Hi, today we're here in our first ever uh, Spanish lesson and today we're going to be learning some Spanish all the way from the beginning. Hope you enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen and we're going to start with the class. Screen two. Let me see when you can see my screen. Yeah, we can see, see the screen. Yeah. Can see it. We can see it. Okay, so... We are gonna do today some uh, welcome and introduction. So this uh, lesson is is called Hola, uh, which I know that you know what this means. Yes. And bienvenidos a la clase de español. So what are we gonna do today? We are gonna learn about greetings, how to say hello and goodbye. We are gonna learn how to introduce ourselves. And we're going to also learn uh, some uh, letters in Spanish. We're going to focus on the vowels because they are different to English. And we're going to also learn some numbers in Spanish. It's very, very basic. You may know some of these things already, but it's good to start together from the beginning. So let's get started. Let's talk about how we say hello, goodbye, and other greetings in Spanish. So I put here some words. Do you know any of here or any of these? Fatima, Ardu, do yeah. you know any? Okay, Fatima, you want to start? What do you know? Hola and adios. Hola and adios. Muy bien. And what does it mean? Hola means hello and adios means bye. Very, very good. So we say hola when we first see someone or when you are meeting friends and you get to, to your class and you see your friends, you say hola and adios to say goodbye. Uh, Abdul, do you know anything else from this slide? Yes, I know buenos noches. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. And when would you use that, buenas noches? Uh, in the night. And night, right? When you are going to bed and you say to your parents good night in Spanish you will say buenas noches what do you think means buenos dias I think it means good morning yes good morning so when you wake up good morning buenos dias and buenas tardes Abdu if you have to guess afternoon. what does it mean afternoon tarde muy bien good afternoon Buenas tardes. So let's repeat the pronunciation together. Let's do buenos días, buenas tardes, y buenas noches, okay? You want to do together or separate? Together. Together? Okay. One, two, three. Buenos, buenos días, días, buenos tardes, tardes buenas noches. Buenas. Muy bien. So every night this week, when you go to bed, I want you to say to your parents, Buenas noches, okay? Okay. okay. So you teach them Spanish too. Um, so we've seen hola, adios, buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. And I've put here two different ones. Hasta luego, hasta pronto. Have you heard these ones before? No. No? no? Okay. So hasta luego, hasta pronto, they are very, very similar. And we use them to say, um, see you soon or see you later. So when you see hasta luego uh, means see you later and hasta pronto, see you soon. So it's also a way to say goodbye to someone, like in English. So let's pronounce them. So, so we record this in our, in our brain. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Okay, two together, good. Now separately. Fatima, you want to go first? Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Muy bien. And you have to? Hasta luego. Muy bien. Your pronunciation is very good, eh? And then we have hasta pronto. That's a bit more difficult to pronounce. Hasta pronto. So can you now, uh, now we're going to start with Abdu, okay? Abdu, you first. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto, muy bien. And you, Fatima? Hasta pronto. Muy bien. So I want us to focus uh, al, uh, on the pronunciation when you are learning. So we're going to repeat some of these. But if you want me to repeat anything at any time, just let me know, okay? Okay. So 
is this works clear because we are gonna do a game at the end so you need to learn this okay you want to take some note or anything or yeah. you want me to repeat any here of these words no, okay no. you know hola adios I will send you this anyway, so you have them and you can check all the words and how it's written. So you're gonna have all this material as well. Okay. But it's always good to write things down. You, I think of memory, it helps memory. So we have hola, adios. Hasta luego, hasta pronto, to say, what does it mean, Atu? Uh, see if you remember, hasta luego. Hasta luego means, uh, see you uh, later. Yes, and hasta pronto. See you soon. See you soon. Very, very similar. And then, buenos días, buenas tardes, y buenas noches. We continue? Or Fatima, you are still writing, yeah? I'm here. There. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, okay, now I'm gonna give you ownership of my computer and you are, you have to drag the boxes in the, in the right place, in hello or goodbye, okay? We've seen the difference between some of these. So I'm gonna, uh, how do I do this? Ah, uh, here. Yeah. Give control. So now you are controlling my mouse. Can you check? No, it's not moving. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stay in the side. So now, Abdu, take one box of the yellow boxes and put them in the right place, in hello or goodbye. Wait, Which one are you going to use? Hola? Yeah, hola. So, yes, and hola, where do you put that? Hello. Very good, put it there. Muy bien. Muy bien. Now, Fatima, you're going to control my computer and you're going to pick one of the yellow. You have to also say it in Spanish, okay? The one you pick. Mm -hmm. So, which one do you pick, uh, Fatima? Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. Which one you and where, where do you put? In goodbye. Muy bien. Hasta pronto. Did you, do you hear that I say hasta, no, hasta, in Spain, H, we don't pronounce. Okay. okay, it's a difference. So, hasta pronto, muy bien. Next one, Abdul, for you. Adios. Adios. Where do you put that one? Adios. Bye. Bye, muy bien. Okay, Fatima, now your turn, te toca. Okay. Which one did you It's a bit difficult yeah. to control yeah. the mouse. Yeah. Hasta luego. Muy bien, Fatima. And where okay. do you put that? Goodbye. Goodbye as well, yes. Do you remember what it means? Hasta luego. Yeah. See you later. Yes. Muy bien. Very good memory. Okay. Abdul, do you want to do the next one? Uh, buenos uh, días. Buenos días. Okay. When do you say that? You say that in the um, morning. Good morning. Yes. Muy bien. So, where do you put that? Uh, I think it's hello. Okay. It's a way to say hello to someone. Like when you enter a, a, a shop and you say good morning or um, instead of hello. Muy, muy bien. So we have two left, Fatima. Which one do you want to pick? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Muy bien. And goodbye. Can we, yes, actually, you can use it for goodbye before going to bed. Yes, put it in goodbye. And buenas tardes, where would you put buenas tardes? Uh, hello. 
Hello, there. Imagine you go to to a park to your to a park with your friends in the afternoon. You will say, "Good afternoon, everyone. I'm here." So we have now classified different ways to say hello, different ways to say goodbye, the formas de decir hola, the formas de decir adiós. Any questions or anything you want to to check before we continue? Good? Yes. Okay, so now I'm gonna take control and we're gonna do introductions. So I think some of these you already know because you told me last time we met um, on Sunday, uh, two days ago. Um, but um, still we're gonna refresh uh, memories and also for everyone that sees us. So let's start with, ¿Cómo te llamas? What do you think is that? ¿Cómo te llamas? I've heard it, but I don't know what it means. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Fatima? I don't know either. I, if I say, me llamo Miriam. Oh, it doesn't mean you too. <sighs> me llamo Miriam. Yo me llamo Miriam. My that name. means my name. See, see. Oh, okay. My name is Miriam. Me llamo. Imagine if I say here, Miriam. Okay. So, ¿cómo te llamas? Is the question to get to know uh, anyone's name. If I ask, ¿cómo te llamas? You would answer. Me llamo Muy bien. Y yo Abdul. If I ask you, ¿cómo te llamas? Me llamo Abdul. Muy bien. So, ¿cómo te llamas? In English means... Um, What's your name? Muy bien. What's your name? Um, the second question, ¿cuántos años tienes? Do you know this one? Yes. Yes? What does it mean, Fatima? How old are you? Yes. And can you say it in Spanish again? Uh, ¿Cuántos años eh, tienes? Muy bien. I want you to listen carefully to what I say because there is a, a specific letter in Spanish that you don't have in English. So I want you to hear how I pronounce it. ¿Cuántos años tienes? You hear? Yeah. This letter here, how it's pronounced? ¿Cuántos años tienes? So to answer that question, we will say tengo and your number of years. So, tengo cinco años, tengo, yo no tengo cinco años, I don't have, five, I am not five years old, I'm older than that. <laughs> um, so, if I asked you, Fatima, ¿cuántos años tienes? You have to answer, tengo años. Can you? Do you know your, your age in, in Spanish? Um, yeah, can I just have a second to count? Oh, of course. Okay. Uh -huh. Tengo diez años. Tienes diez años. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Tengo diez años. Muy bien, Fátima. And you, Abdu, ¿cuántos años tienes? I forgot how to say the number 12. 12? 12. I write it here for you, okay? Okay, thank you. So you see. ¿Vale? Ok. So, Abdu, ¿cuántos años tienes? Eh, tengo 12 años. Muy bien. Now I want you to practice with each other. So, you ask the question and you answer. So, who wants to start asking the question? Me. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuántos años eh, tienes? And you are asking Fátima. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tango, yeah, tango, um, I forgot number 10 again. I put it here, don't worry. 12 y 10. Do you see? Tango, 10 años. Muy bien. Now, Fatima, you can ask 
Abdul. Um, ¿Cómo? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Muy bien. Tengo 12 años. Muy bien. Muy bien. I think you got this. Uh, so let's move to the next question. The next question is ¿De dónde eres? Have you heard this before? No. Abdul, do you remember something about this? No. So, if you ask me de dónde eres, I will say, soy de España. Oh. Can you guess what it means? Where are you from? Perfecto, Fatima. Yes. So, de dónde eres means, where are you from? And you answer that question saying, soy de, for example, for me, soy de España. How would you say Libya? Soy de Libia. No change there. So this one is easy. Soy de Libia. Okay? So now I ask you, Fatima, ¿de dónde eres, Fatima? Soy de Libia. Muy bien. ¿Y tú, Abdu, de dónde eres? Soy de Libia. Muy bien. Can we practice the question again? So you pronounce this again. So you ask each other, ¿de dónde eres? Ah, you are sí. brother and sister, so it's the same place, but that way we, pra we practice. ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Libia. Muy bien. And you, Fatima? De dónde eres? Muy bien. Soy de Libia. Muy bien. Perfecto. ¿Dónde vives? This one is maybe a bit difficult, but I thought, let's, let's try. De, ¿Dónde vives? Um, And I will say, vivo en Glasgow. Oh, uh, where do you live? Where do you live? Yes, I'm doing muy bien. So, ¿dónde vives? Vivo en Glasgow. Where do you live, Abdu? ¿Dónde vives? Vivo en Glasgow. Ah, también en Glasgow, okay. Because we are at home with COVID, we cannot see each other, but hopefully one day soon. Uh, y tú, Fátima, ¿dónde vives? Vivo en Glasgow. How do you pronounce Glasgow? Glasgow, <laughs> the same. Glasgow. Muy bien. Um, Let's do the opposite way. Let's do the question. Repeat the question and ask each other. Can you ask Fatima to your brother? Donde vives? Vivo en Glasgow. Muy bien. And you have to can you can you repeat the question? Donde vives? Donde vives? Muy bien. Vivo en Glasgow. Okay. The the last question is ¿Cómo se llama tu profesor? What do you think it means? Mm. What do you work as? Mm. No. ¿Cómo se llama? It's very similar to the first one, remember? Remember? ¿Cómo te llamas? Oh, what's your middle name? Mm, almost. What's It's your last name? Last name. What's the name of your teacher? Oh. Oh. ¿Cómo se llama tu profesor o tu profesora? We use a professora for women, so I will be to your teacher, your pro, uh, vuestra profesora, and if it was um, a, a boy, it will be professor. That's why I put the two questions there, so you can see. So, uh, Fatima, if I asked you, what, uh, ¿cómo se llama tu profesor o tu profesora? You would say, mi profesora se llama... Miriam, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo, ¿cómo se llama tu profesora, Fátima? Mi profesora se llama Miriam. Muy bien. Profesora means teacher. ¿Ok? And Abdu, ¿cómo se llama tu profesora? Mi, pri, mi profesora se, eh, se llama, se llama eh, Miriam. Muy bien. And in school, in, your, in vuestra escuela, in your school, ¿Cómo se llama eh, tu profesor Abdu? Eh, 
me it i have a lot of teachers because i'm in high school now so i have a lot ah pick your favorite tu favorito uh, <laughs> it's hard um i would choose me uh, mi profesora uh, se llama se llama um, miss baku muy bien y tu fatima cómo se llama tu profesor o profesora mi profesora se llama Mrs. Sister. Muy bien. Perfecto. So now what I want you to do, I want you to draw a poster. And maybe we're going to do this. You do it in the home for during the week. And next week you show me, okay? But I'm going to show you what I've done so you can see what I want you to prepare for next week. Is to practice these questions and answers. Please don't laugh at my drawing, okay? It's very bad. I don't know how to draw, okay? So, I want you to draw your steps in the middle. You see, I have glasses, gafas. And I want you to put sentences. I want you to describe your name. Me llamo Miriam. Tengo 33 años, 3333. Soy, ¿qué pone? ¿A tú? What does it say? Uh, soy de uh, España. Ok, um, I draw a little card. What does it say here, Fátima? Uh, mi profesora se, se llama Vanessa. Muy bien. Vanessa, we love you. We miss you. <laughs> y aquí pone, and we see here, ¿qué pone ahí a tú? Vivo en Glasgow. So for next week, I want you to have, like me, but I'm sure yours will be much beautiful, a drawing of yourself in the middle and sentences to describe you, to introduce you, okay? That's homework for next, next week. Okay. Okay? Okay, so let's continue. This time is, time is flying. Eh, vocales en español, las vocales, the vowels in Spanish. Do you know, uh, have you seen this before? Vowels in Spanish, las vocales. No, but I know vowels in English. Mm -hmm. In English, I think you have more. In Spanish, we have, we have five, cinco, okay? So I want you to pay attention how we pronounce them because there are some differences with English and Spanish. The first one, the first vowel is A. A. And an example of a word is word containing A is, is árbol. Árbol. You see? Fatima, you want to repeat the word starting with A? Árbol. Árbol. Muy bien. Um, Abdul, the second vowel, elefante, E. Elefante. Can you repeat? E elefante. Muy bien. The third one is E. And we say the, the, an example of a word, word is isla. Fatima, this one is a bit difficult, but I think you can do it. So, can you do the third one? Isla. Isla. Muy bien. So, don't mistake elefante E con E. Isla. I always confuse them. In English, it's at the opposite, right? Yeah. <laughs> the um, next one is O. Like oso. Abdul, do you want to pronounce this one? Oso. Oso. Muy bien. That means bear. I, I pronounce very bad in English this word, so you need to teach me. And the last one is U. Unicornio. Very long word, Fatima, the longest, I think, so can you do it? Unicornio. Unicornio, muy bien. U, unicornio. So, um, vocales, do you want to repeat anything? Do you want me to repeat anything here? No. No? no? Okay, no. we move on. Las vocales, and now I have... Los números en español. What does it mean, los números? Numbers? 
the numbers, yes. So I just put five numbers. I think you know more than this, at least you know 10. Uh, but we can, we can um, re uh, remember this and practice a little bit. So Fatima, actually, I'm gonna ask you, can you read them all? Okay. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, muy bien. And you, Abdul, can you read them? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Muy bien. I think you have the numbers, Master. You showed me before with your age. So um, we are not going to spend much time on this because you know them already. And I think it's good time now to, to go to do a little game and practice everything that we've seen today. Okay. You want to do that? Yes. Okay. So, this is the game. There is an image hidden behind these boxes. So, I'm going to give you a chance every time you're going to pick a box and, and you're going to get to see a little bit of every of this image. And let's see who can guess it the first, okay? Who guess what's behind this. So, who wants to start? I'm going to say... I'm going to say Fatima because She's made great effort with her hair today. So Fatima, you start pick one box. But now I only understand Spanish, okay? Mm -hmm. um, dos. Dos, okay. So we take out box number two. Abdu, Uno. pick one box. Uno, okay. Adiós. Fatima. Um. Cuatro. Cuatro, muy bien. You take that out. Um, tres. Tres. You love numbers, eh? But you need to say other things to discover the image. De donde eres. Muy bien, Fátima. De donde eres. We take it out. Abdu. Como te amas. ¿Cómo te llamas? Muy bien. ¿Any more? ¿More boxes? ¿O you know what no, this I is? No, I know what it is. I know the picture is as well. I knew it since yeah. we took the first box. It's a classroom. Ah, but school. I only understand Spanish. Uh, uh, I see a profesor. Prof profesor. Muy bien, you see a profesora. But what is this? Do, do you know where the professora is? Donde está la professora? Where is the teacher? Spin? <laughs> Maybe. Um, Maybe you don't know that word, don't worry. School. A school. Do you know how to say school in Spanish? No. No. Okay, I'll write it here for you. So you learn this word. Escuela. Escuela. We also say colegio. We have different words. Escuela, colegio. It means the same. It means a school. Which one would you prefer? Either way, to be honest. Um, either. Escuela, colegio. It's not, not different, to be honest. Have to. Um, okay, so you've been very, very fast in this game. But don't worry, I have another one. Okay. So we do the same, but this way, this time, you you will see that for some boxes you need to ask a question, okay? For some boxes you will need to ask the right question. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Abdul, you start this time. I see you are ready. So let's get started. Yes. Uno. Uno. Okay. Dos. Dos. Okay. And me amo Anna. Okay, so that's an answer. Oh. I need you to ask me the right question. Oh. But you know this. Um, oh my gosh, how do I... Um, uh, Maybe Fatima can help you. I really don't know either. No, it's like, um, uh, well, I, you know, like when somebody says oh, oh, it. Oh, I know, oh. I know, I think I know. 
Ali. Coma Yamo. Coma es Yamo? Coma. Coma te oh, llama. Oh, Coma te llamo. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna move it a little bit because I gave you half the answer, eh? So half the box. Okay. Okay. So we take it away complete. Oh no. <laughs> Want to show you picture? So, me llamo Ana, and the question will be repeat again. I um, forgot to write. Co como este llamo? No. Oh. Como te llamo? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? We are playing a game, so I'm gonna be super exigent, ok? You need to do perfect. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Ana. Ok, next quest, next, next one. Who picks? I think it's Fatima Khan. Um, tres. Tres, muy bien. Cinco. Cinco, muy bien. Oh, I, I think I know, I think I know. I know too. I think it's a playground. But how do you say it? Oh, Bye. come on. Oh. Is that maybe difficult? But you can, you can also open all the boxes. Okay. So, we can continue. Okay, Abdo, what do you want to pick next? Um, what do you pick? I don't remember. It's my pick. Here is my pick. Um, cuatro. Cuatro. Cuatro, ok. ¿Alto? Eh, A. A, muy bien. I. I. ¿Es this one o this one, Fatima? Um, the one that is ah. pronounced I in English. Yeah, that one. This one, like green. This one, yes, ok. Mm. Next one. Um, e, the other E. E. Yes. Like elefante, ¿verdad? Yeah. Muy bien. Next one, Fatima. Which one you want to pick? Um, e. U. U. Ok. U. Um, oh, it's getting harder. <laughs> o. O. Yeah. Do you remember the let, the word we use uh, for O? Yeah. Uh, oso. Oso. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. You've left the most difficult for the end. <laughs> okay. Next one, Fatima. Tango. Tango cinco años. Okay. And what is the question for that? Coma, coma, tree, tango, onions. <laughs> good try. No. <laughs> Very good try. Do you know, Abdul? Uh, oh, let me think, let me think. I, I don't know, I don't know how to say the question, but like, I understand it when somebody asks me. Yeah. Because it gives you a hint in the question. Cuan, uh, cuánto, oh, cu cuánto, 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 Do you know two of these ones? You know is for saying hello and goodbye, so those are easy. Yeah. Which ones are to say Fatima or who's turn? Hasta uh, luego. Hasta luego, we take that one. What did it mean, hasta luego? See you later. Yes, muy bien. Abdu? Um, buenos tardes. What does it mean, buenas tardes? Uh, good morning. Oh, oh good that, afternoon. That box of good night. Oh, no, no, no that, that's that not yet. Uh, is, is, uh, is it good afternoon? Good afternoon, perfecto, muy bien. Okay. Oh. The last two. Vivo and Glasgow. 
We went let's go and the question don't I can't say I can't can't and um, Donde vives? Okay. okay. Donde vives? Uh, give me the answer and I give you the box. Vivo and Brazil. Okay. And you have to, can you take the most difficult, the uh, last one? Soy de Escocia. Does, does that mean, does that mean, uh, what school? No, Escocia is Scotland in Spanish. Oh, okay. So, soy de España, yo soy de España, pero ahí dice, uh, that says, soy de Escocia. So, you will ask, de dónde eres. Okay. ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Soy de Escocia, okay. ¿ok? And this is a park. As you can see, it's a park. Un parque. Okay. En español. Ok. Parque. ¿You see the word here? Yes. So, we have now come to the end of our first class. Wow. Yeah. I feel that was super fast. Yeah. yeah. And very fun too. Thank you so, yeah. so much. Let me re uh, let's do a recap of what we've learned, okay. what we have to do for next week, and then we finish our class, okay. okay? So today we have learned how we can say hello and goodbye also through different parts of the day. So tonight, what are you going to say before you go to bed? Buenas noches. Muy bien. We've class them in different boxes so we know what to say hello and what we use to say goodbye. We've also learned introductions and I want you to practice this with your own poster. Okay. So you do a poster with your own introduction and next week we're gonna practice these questions more so try to memorize them is the vowels in Spanish. There are some differences with English, so we've been starting to listen to all of these. We've also practiced the numbers, one to five. You know numbers very, very well, so this was easy peasy. And we played the game of the boxes, so for next week I'm gonna prepare a more difficult one, okay? So you need to practice this. And in the boxes, we've learned two, two new words, well, three. We've learned a school, that in Spanish is escuela o colegio, and we've also learned parque, that is park, means park. So we've learned plenty today in the first class. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. It was very was... fun, especially the game. The yes. game was very good. Yes, perfect. For next week, more difficult, remember. Okay. <laughs> good. So, uh, you know, it's like Kovacu. Le Jo, don't have. Don't tell me about last, that. Last, last two minutes, last two minutes, Benzema. I'm gonna make an extra difficult question for you next week because this is not good. <laughs> I know, so. well, Benzema is a good player, so. Yeah, but I, I prefer Atletico to win almost at the end, all the time, always the same, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Abdul just got himself a very difficult question for next week for reminding me. That my football team didn't win tonight. Hmm. <laughs> so thank you so so much for being with us. It's been a pleasure. It was so amazing, and thank you so much. Hopefully, we can learn more Spanish and we can do much better and improve our Spanish. Thank you so much. Thank you to you. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. Bye. Adios. Adios. <laughs> so. That was our uh, first ever Spanish class. Please uh, like and subscribe and please share with as many people as possible so you can uh, follow us in our uh, journey to learn Spanish. And thanks to our beautiful Spanish teacher who helped us very, very much and is going to teach us from now on. Thank you so much for watching.